Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And in this video, it's kind of like a yarn chat. Um, I'm going to show you what I got crocheted over what I worked on over spring break. And then to lure you into watching my whole video, I will announce the giveaway. Yes, I had a giveaway. Uh, it was at the end of the video where I say yarn mail. Yay. Thanks, Amy. And I put a little giveaway in there. And so if you um, commented under that video that you agreed to the rules and specifically whether you prefer Easter bunnies or Easter chicks, uh, you were entered into the giveaway. And I will announce that. So the first thing, I finished my second shawl scarf. Um, before spring break, I was just, I had just finished this one and this is a wider version with a variegated yarn that's crocheted to look diagonal with rows of windows then i decided to make another one a little more narrow and with a more solid tonal yarn same thing crocheted on the angle with rows of windows so i finished that and i'm very excited i like it a lot then the next thing I got to was honey number two from my class. If you remember from my other video, I made a poncho for one of my second graders, a teacher friend's daughter who's in my class. And uh, one of my other little honeys wanted a poncho. So I finished this one. This is in a yarn I got from Michael's called Barcelona and the colorway Breeze. So I finished that for her. Then I made another one. Because at that point, I figured once this little honey gets her poncho, my guess is there's approximately four that are going to want it. So I made this poncho. This is in Mandala Tweed and the colorway White Elephant. My first skein of this I got in a giveaway. No, in a yarn swap. Um, if you're in my Facebook group, Summer's Tips and Stitches, Christy runs a, a swap. She was my swap lady. And every couple months she'll, she'll post in there, hey, do you wanna be in a swap? You comment underneath, she matches you with someone. And I had gotten two skeins of white elephant. Um, I've since then bought a couple more. So I finished poncho number two, I just need to weave in the ends. And then I started poncho number three, same colorway. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, Mandala Tweed Stripes colorway white elephant. Um, I have one more up there. This poncho that I'm making is the Lion Brand poncho. I only use the dimensions. I don't actually use the pattern. I do my own pattern. So it's a, a chain of 50 and I've been doing 25 rows of double crochet and I do one straight row of double crochet and then one row where I do the X stitch or the cross stitch so it kind of gives it this you can kind of see this like stripe this loose it's not really you can't see it all in that one but anyway this is the start of three so over break I finished this finished two ponchos started a third and then I decided, because if you know, I feel like I may or may not have designed this shawl. I made it up on my own. Now, maybe there's somebody out there who has one like it. I don't know. I decided to try to do a knit version because I thought it'd be fun after releasing the pattern and after doing the tutorial that if I could have a knit version that would be fun. So this is the yarn that I dyed with my wine. And so I'm starting to do that. Again, it's at the slants where I have an increase and a decrease. You can't really see it on this side because of where the, where the thing is. And then after knitting, and I'm just doing the garter, knitting back and forth, I'm putting in a row of windows. Now it doesn't show up the same as it does in the crochet, but I'm just gonna have a go at it. This is a DK yarn that I bought bare from Knit Picks and Wool of the Andes, it's called. You can go onto Knit Picks website, I'll put a link in the description below. 
um, and they sell bare yarn. So if you want to have a go at dyeing your own, you can. This is a perfect time to get the Easter egg dye kits on clearance at Walmart or whatnot. And you can dye yarn with Easter egg pellets for the Easter egg kits. Or you can go to Joann's and Walmart. My Walmart has them too. This is how I like to store my projects. Um, and you can buy RIT or Rite dye, R-I-T-E. Uh, they have a liquid and a powder. Um, and then, like I said, I tried wine. Now, I will tell you the wine did not turn out how I really wanted. The color wasn't as vibrant. So I threw a little purple of the RIT dye in there or Rite. I don't know how to pronounce it. So those were the projects I worked on. A few ponchos, I started knitting, and that's pretty much it. I have now started watching Once Upon a Time while I was working on these projects. Um, Once Upon a Time is on Disney+. Plus. It used to be on Netflix, not sure if it is anymore. And that, it's kind of like a modern day um, fairy tale. Like it uses all the old fairy tales and the evil queen the one that gave Snow White that poison out, out, apple. Her name is Regina in this show. And she has captured all the fairy tale storybook people into this little town. And they they can't leave it. And they have amnesia. They don't remember who they were until Emma Swan comes. And so that's what I've been watching while I'm making all these wonderful projects. And so now that I've showed you what I've been working on, my next project, aside from finishing poncho number three and possibly starting a fourth for the little honeys, because like I said, I only think there's four that are going to want a poncho, um, and possibly <clears throat> working on this, I'm going to write up the pattern for this, send it out to a few of my favorite yarn friends for testing to see if they can make it, and uh, then I'm going to do my Yarn Yay project. If you remember, I got my first box of a three-month subscription I signed up for. And um, I'm pretty excited because that yarn was my favorite colors. You know, blues and aquas and kind of a sea kind of green. Now, <clears throat> in case you forgot or missed it and you're just wondering what the giveaway is, I have four skeins of yarn and one of these buttons. Here we go. When I went to my local yarn shop, Tori gave me these King Cole I Love Knitting and King Cole I Love Crochet. So I'm going to put an I Love Knitting or I Love Crochet button in here. And then I have two skeins of Yarn Bee Dazzling. This is in the colorway of Tropics. Um, they are the same. They're just, you know, this outer is, you know, it's it's the same in there. See that? So two of these skeins of Tropics. And let's see, how many yards are these? These are 249 yards. So approximately 500 yards of that. And then two skeins of this Lime brand, Shawl in a Ball. I got real lucky and for some reason my Walmart had lost their mind and were selling all of these shawls in a ball for $1.50. When I know that I've seen them as much as $9.99, $8.99, $7.99. So I scooped up a whole bunch of them, about 10 of them, and I'm giving two of them away in a giveaway. Okay, and these ones are in the colorway Healing Teal. So these four skeins of yarn and an I Love Crochet King Cole pin goes to, ironically and nicely, because sometimes it takes me 100 years to find the comment to put in the notes, you're the winner, please email me. Sharon Osborne, congratulations. Interestingly enough, there's a, a famous Sharon Osborne who's in trouble now, and I can't imagine that it'd be the same Sharon. So already we've got a name du duplicate here. I'm, I'm assuming this is not the super famous Sharon Osborne who just got booted off the talk. I'm assuming this is a different Sharon Osborne. Sharon Osborne, please email me at summerstipsandstitches at gmail.com. I'll put a comment under your comment in the winning video to let you know that you were the winner. Thank you so much. Please respond within the next few days so that I can have your package shipped out by Saturday. I will ask you to do something to prove that you're you because I've had doubles. 
Now I've had two people with the same name. And so I'm being careful. And we already know there's one other Sharon Osborne, so why not there be five more? All right, so congratulations, Sharon. Um, also, while I this cr spring break started, I hit 15,000 subscribers. So thank you all to you 15,000 yarn friends who love to chat um, about yarn and crochet and knit with me and life. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do one of these nice little video giveaways about once a month and sneak them in these videos for the ones that watch all the videos. Because even though I have 15,000 subscribers, I only have about one to 2,000, maybe 3,000 that watch all the videos. So keep watching. Wait till the end of the video and you will too get to see a giveaway coming up. Okay, so that's all. Now I gotta go upstairs and finish tidying up because I'm gonna go exercise. If you want to do some fun exercising, you guys, I have been watching on YouTube, of course, right? Because that's where most of my entertainment comes. The Fitness Marshal. And um, yeah, I feel I jump around in my living room. Sometimes his moves are a little too hard for me. Sometimes his songs are a little inappropriate. But I jump around in my living room for 45 minutes and I feel good. So that is what I'm going to go do now. So thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.